It, this is FCAP, I feel like, trying to go against the odds, right? Trying to give the opponent whatever they want, but they're also going to do whatever they want. It's funny to say that they have to be disciplined, but at the same time, they can't be scared. Look at that. Some of the times we saw the team fight, they looked like they were scared or overthinking things. They can't be anymore if they want to force a game number four. It's time to just go with your instincts, go with what you know, and see if FCAP can rise to the challenge. Right now, it is Falcons, uh, sorry, FNOP on match point. Let's throw it over to our casters. Give this up for us. Welcome to Mobile Legends. I think here we are. Now now I can I can get you now, man. We were just in our heads because of how high stakes this matchup was, but now Few gets away with a Shadow Stampede, and we are in game proper. Alright. Few escaping there with his life, of course. Did have to use that purify, but this is what we're gonna have to see how they play this early game. They're gonna go in for Whoa, Few! Very quickly taken out, but they do get King Kong back. The trade there, the one for one. You take that trade. Four out of times out of five. A mid laner for a jungler? Worth. Yes. Now, talking about this Julian up against uh, Suyo, it's a, it's, a, it's a match made in heaven. Mechanically speaking, these two are at the top of their game. Yeah. Kyle, TZ, and the King Kong. Ooh. I think FCAP may have figured something out here. They might have tried to, oh, he goes in with a flicker. Uh -oh. He didn't want to get hit by Ogwin. Now King Kong might be on the hunt too. Goes in with a Queller, but there it is. Kirk will pick up the kill. Good synergy there, good calls as well. You can only be in so many places all at once and think of so many different positions your opponent could be. Yeah. And with that, I think Falcons AP for the final. They're still standing here for the first turn. Oh. AP business! You're going for Kirk. Kirk already popping that vengeance cool. still. A couple shots away. Flap going for it, but the Eternal Guard gonna cut them off in the fight. Kirk finally goes down. They deal with it all. Flap has to flick her out. Brusco finally going down in the exchange. The taunt unbreakable coming from Ogwin. Kelra won't have enough firepower to help turn the tide. Now the fight with the Turtle King Kong. Gonna get forced out of this situation, and FCAP, they fought for that one, and they'll get the turtle. FCAP definitely put some elbow grease in it. Messy as it may be, but that is how blue collar goes. Whew. You put it in, and you work with your hands, and you make with it what you... It, 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 it's it's Might an be a honest messy. living. It's an honest living, yeah. and sometimes that's what you gotta do. Fanatic have been attacking this game, this series, from such a cerebral position, and maybe if FCAP can shock them, into a game that's going out of pace that they're not ready for, maybe FCAP can get a win. Maybe we can be forced to go into game four, but right now, barely 500 gold up, three minutes in. I'm scared, my soup. Who, who are you scared for here? I'm scared for Marco. Because throughout all this mess that we were seeing in the early game, six kills already in three minutes and yeah. a half, barely. Kale is up by 500. Yeah, he's up, and you know, I think you're seeing how proactive Kale is also being. And, and that's been him for the most part throughout the series. Hold on again, Kyle Teasy. Gonna get out, the hand sword's on out, but you're seeing just how much that Soul Sever does hurt from King Kong. You gotta respect it. And uh, yeah, going back to it, you know, Kelrin's gonna have to move around the map. He's gonna continue to do that. And I think it's just a little bit maybe easier for him to go and farm up some of the lane if he has to, and which allows him to then roam quicker than, for example, Super Marco. Because Super Marco, all he's gotta do is really hope that he lands the Spear Destruction. Now, throughout the series, you know, that's the other question. Is he able to land the ones that count, basically? Throughout the series, throughout the playoffs, yeah. it's not just Marco who's struggling with the Moskov just because of the sheer game IQ, game sense, and how teams are so good at playing the map, Moskovs aren't hitting the XODs the way they used to in the regular season. Yeah, they really adapt to it, especially when it comes to these objective takes. They look for it and they get ready to dodge it before they go in. There's the flicker though, they want to go for the fight. FCAP gets the vengeance out already from Kirk. Turtle, less than half health here, still looking for it. It's going to go through a reset. Super Marco also getting the information he needs. Now the focus. Once again, Kelra rotating down, joining the fight. Turtle Guard gonna drop down on view. He could be in trouble. Still gets away. There's an implosion to King Kong. We'll get the turtle. Spear destruction gonna land. Kelra flickers defensively, but Ogwin goes down as King Kong picks up a kill and will force FCAP back. Fanaticonic, definitely the aggressor in that situation. Despite the early pop on Kirk's vengeance, it was all according to plan. Falcons maybe they can rest easy knowing that they did get a turret up top, but just to say Fanaticonic very quick to the comeback, pushing down bottom, and 
exactly it's the same lane I was afraid for, Joseph, this yep. whole time. Because of what happened, what transpired in the first two turtles, Fnatic Onyx said, you know what, Kelra? Switch lanes quick. Go down bottom. Be first to rotate, because we know the top lane's going to go down quickly. Marco's not moving, and that's going to put him at still close to where Marco is. I think the fact that Marco took that turret by himself yeah. allowed for him to close that gap. Yeah, gave him that little bump that he needed. So will still have to deal with it, because you saw Kelra also just now picking up the BOD, so good little power spike here for the Beatrix once that item's locked in. And that's part of it, right? You put Super Marco in these these off of these side lanes, let him do his thing, farm up the best he can, and he's been doing that, kind of equalizing things. He's got to go ahead and just get these turrets down so that it opens things up for FK. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa! Flap! I guess he just got overloaded there under that tier one. Flap tried to take it by himself. Flap thought he could defend and save uh, the major resources that FCAP's gonna need when Fnatic Onyx start to play the map a little more aggressive. But look, Fnatic Onyx relentless, King Kong and Pelgrim. Still going? Oh no, I don't think FCAP can defend this. Yeah, they're, they're, they're losing oh, it. Couple shots away on that tier two. Super Marco does get there in time. That cannon minion though will finish that one. So they lose a tier two this early on on the top side and now Turtle coming up third one, last one of this game. In the first five minutes, FCAP have been getting better at blocking. Fnatic Onyx early salvos. FCAP have been getting better at finding windows for aggression, but wait. It looks like the final turtle will go over to FCAP, and I guess that's the cause of that hard push up top. Yeah, look at this. King Kong took the orange. So that's the trade, and this is what we see often. He's, you know, he knows. Might go on the hunt here. Whoa. Good destruction gonna be used. Retribution also, but King Kong will be fine again. The Suyo is hard to catch. So many options, options to get out. Maybe, what, 30, 45 degrees off if that Stun from Marco hit King Kong into a wall. Yeah. May have been over for this Suyo, but now King Kong playing footsies. Man, he's defending against two. He's defending, but Kyle Tease is not going to let that orange go away for nothing. We'll finally get that revenge by taking the purple buff here from King Kong. Both teams getting set up now in this mid lane and trying to get control because they both hold on to tier two or tier one turrets mid lane. And if they make a play, if they find a pickoff either way, gives them a little bit of a room to work with before the Lord comes up. Eye for an eye, trading buffs for buffs. And slowly but surely, Fnatic Onyx know that FCAP aren't the same team that they faced in game one, not in game two. FCAP are just getting started. They're getting warmed up. And now, Kyle Deasy, ever the aggressor onto Kirk. Kelra knows he can't protect Kirk. And this pushes Kirk all the way back. Yeah, Kirk will be fine. Couple shots. I mean, this is what we expect with both teams kind of just limit testing each other, seeing what they can get, if they can get anything, whether that's used or not. Not too much that they can go for until this Lord is up. And that's where we see it. And both these teams, you know, they've mastered that part of the game where it's we see some of the best kind of back and forths between the Lord shuffle or dance or whatever we want to call it now. And both masters at the macro decisions that they made. I mean, that's really what show showcased la the last game. I'll tell you now, Joseph, if some way, somehow, Falcons AB Brent find Kelra or compromise Super Friends before this Lord goes into a full on point of no return, then maybe FCAP can take the first big objective. Brusco and Kirk positioning up, one up front, the other in the back. It's never as simple to find Kelra though. There's, there's always a big, beefy member of FNAF next to him. Look at this, it's Brusco this time. Now it's Kirk, and he's always just going around here. It's just like we said in the previous game, Leo, you know, trying to get through that front line or that just the protection that Kelra has. And all the while, worrying about what King Kong's doing. Turtle Guard gonna be dropped down. Flap goes in with a flicker. They want to force the fight. Enhanced wow. Chase, though, goes in. Able to find Super Friends, and Kirk falls as well. They're gonna collapse down on Brusco. He tries to get away. Woo. King Kong tries. Dives into the backside. We'll find Kyle Teasy and fires off. But Super Marco gets a double. They find three kills in the exchange. It's Kelra and Brusco left alive. Two for three. A well fought, hard earned. Oh, he let out. Marco fights Kelra. Woo. Oh, but the Filipino Savage, the gold standard, flickers underneath his tier one in mid. And all this while, FCAP works on the Lord. Can they, though? Kyle is out of commission. He's just about to respawn. One more oh. look. An instant replay brought to us by Infinix at Holding Age. It looks like I'm going to look on the live cam here. It looks like they might be able to get it. Again, Eternal Guard going to be dropped down. Primal Wrath going to be used. And Kyle fires off. We'll be able to find Flap. Looking for the Lord and Fuel. We'll be able to secure it for FCAP. Brusco! The implosion from Brusco. No follow up through. And now Kirk King Kong. the spears. But here's King Kong again, punishing Fuel. FCAP will get the Lord, though. Falcons AP Bread looking at the big picture. They will trade anybody and everybody that's necessary to win on the map. It just gets them about a 2,000 gold lead 11 minutes in. Despite everything that's happened, Joseph, even if Fnatic Onyx, say what you will about this series, this game specifically, being messier than any outing they've had in the playoffs, yeah. they're still very frugal about who they give up. It's, ma it's mainly Brusco and Kirk dying. Keller has it fallen, but still, this Lord is as clear a win for FCAP. Big uh, shift that FCAP needed. 1v1 again! 1v1, right, he's gonna chase King Kong. King Kong regenning up. 
has the uh, protection of Brusco here to help him out, so he's going to be fine. They still got to deal with the Lord, though. Also, Super Marco walking with it as he takes down the Tier 2 top. All right, because of that whole scuffle down bottom, it should be FCAP making the most of this Lord. Oh, oh another fight! King Kong! Oh, he's not getting away from that one. Even with the Spear Destruction going to be used, FCAP will take some turrets off it all. They know King Kong's down. Lord was already cleared up, though, so their eyes are set on the base turrets here. The Hunter becomes the Hunted. The Slayer has been slain. King Kong out of commission for 20 seconds more as the map turns red. FCAP ballooning out of control, approaching the 4,000 gold lead. At 12 and a half minutes, I think this is the way you attack FNAP. You deny them the formation, you constantly apply pressure and aggression where they're not expecting it, and suddenly, they have to play defense. They have to start protecting each other. They have to go into places where they're not comfortable going onto the offense. Because you got to admit, Joseph, is it just me or has King Kong just been forcing the same play for the past five minutes? He's like, yeah. all right, you guys just front up, front up, I'm going to kill whoever's in the back. Yeah. Front up, front up, I'm going to kill whoever's in the back. And about a minute ago, it just stopped working. It stopped working. And I think even what we're seeing is Falcons AP Bren adjusting, getting a little more, you know, creative, even with trying to shut that down because they've seen it now multiple times. And that play style from King Kong is really what makes him such a great jungler. But if you punish it and he's taken out of the picture, that's the biggest advantage for FCAP. It's that unorthodox rotation that Falcons AP Bren have either practiced a million times or just in the series alone gotten used to fighting Fnatic Onyx Philippines. It's a perfect mix of them knowing how to play the game anyways and understanding on the fly what makes Fnatic Onyx tick. Because here, in the same Lord, the same spot where it was yep. in that first Lord prior, Best believe, King Kong is trying to walk up again, but now he's taking a different angle. Oh, they're going for that. Again, it looks like the conceal was used. Super Prince dropping down Ogwin. The shots Ooh. also. Machine guns coming out from Kelra, keeping them at bay, but still nothing really that they could get. The Nether Realm already used up. Lord here, quarter of the health, it's going to reset. Soft reset, Lord approaching half health. King Kong holding on, charging that Queller. Flap Teasy coming in from the angle, still has that flicker. Still working it. Ogwin won't get the Unbreakable, and King Kong will get the Lord. Now still looking for the fight, and Brusco goes in with an implosion, brings him back. They already lost Kirk. Goes in, Spear Destruction will not find the mark, and now Brusco in trouble. Covering fire from Kelra won't be enough as well. He's going to shoot him down. Super Friends going to cut off from the team, and Ogwin goes down. Now it's Flap there left. Super, Super Friends! Go. We'll find Super Friends. FCAP comes in swinging for the fight. Three for one. The Sonics do get the Lord, though. FCAP's gonna do their best to make sure it doesn't get any further. Fnatic on it, reeling from that exchange. I'd say that's worth it, Joseph. 15 minutes in, I'd say that's worth it because look at the laser all still pushing in for Falcons AP Bren. Pushing these lanes in. Kirk, Kelra, Bruce goes. Super Prince almost back up too. They're gonna try to keep it down. Clapped in trouble, but look at the damage. Oh, Kirk will get pulled. He's burning, but he gets oh. hit by Super Marco with the Spear of Destruction we asked earlier, and he's been on point in this game. As if it was delivered by Apollo himself. On golden wings, Marco throws a spear that parts the Red Sea. As the red side grows ever bigger, FNOP's map has shrunk. Joseph, King Kong could not make that same play. He tried a different angle and failed to get any returns. And now FCAP are knocking down Fnatic Onyx inhibitors. The down bottom, bottom, it's gone. It's gone on the bottom. A couple shots left there on the top, but that might look like that's all that Falcons AP brand gets for now. But what a fight for them the past couple minutes here. Even though they lost the Lord, able to just overpower, like in terms of fighting and the way they approach the fights, utilizing the way they can jump into the back line even and split members off from Fnatic Onyx Philippines, that's what Falcons AP Brand is playing around right now. The Lord was just but a speed bump. A liability that they could have held out for. And now this next one, a minute in, it definitely has Falcons AP Brand's name written all over it. It's getting harder and harder for Fnatic Onyx to find a winning position. Look, the way that they're posting up now, it looks like they're going to deny a dance. I think they want to burst it. Yeah, I think they do. Both teams going into a similar situation, even though they're 30 seconds away from this Lord to come up here. I think it's still, either of them can actually find pickoffs, and that's what we saw also earlier. Conceal play was used from Brusco. FCAP right now, though, they're searching. Spear Destruction used. Super Marco goes whoa, in, whoa, whoa, takes whoa, whoa, a couple whoa. shots from Kelra. Kelra will flicker in forward. AOG! AOG's not going to be able to find Kelra, but Flap will. Knocks him into the air, and they're going to force the fight as Kelra goes down. Even with an implosion, Marco. they have the Nether Realm and everything else as they're going to chase down. FNAP here, King Kong on the side, just watches as Brusco goes down. The full force of FCAP now makes their way to the Lord. To be able to Lord dance, you got to make it to the dance floor. And Fnatic Onyx squad ain't all here. They compromise Kelra's positioning. They force Brusco to play babysitter. And they just don't play well like that. FCAP scores a Lord. Massive win for FCAP right now. These spears have just been thrown from Super Marco. 
They get the call to start the fight, and they make that pressure work. Eternal Guard gonna be dropped down to mid turret, will fall. The base of FNOP holding on with that one turret. They have to get ready for that Lord push. FCAP now approaching the 5k gold lead. 18 minutes in. We're in TikTok timers, folks. We are. FNOP cannot afford pickoffs. Coyote Easy commits Grand Theft Orange, and Marco securing his Wind of Nature. I can't believe. I can't believe they. What? They forced that play against Keller without Marco having a Wind of Nature? Yeah. That's some marbles right there. That is marbles right now, and the marbles in the play. For oh. FNAP, Flaps gonna jump in, takes a ton of damage. He's gonna have to go with the reset. Another realm gonna be used as well, but Super Marco firing off from the backside. Already got multiple ultimates out from FNOP. Lord still up, healthy. Kelra on the front, trying to keep them at bay. AOG. There's AOG again! Gonna be able to find multiple members, but they're still working on the Lord. FCAP finds the check. Spirit Destruction already used, but FNOP will keep things together for now. They got rid of the Lord, they got rid of two from FCAP. Fnatic on PH still standing, holding on for dear life, defending their base. Sitting at about a fifth of its health, bodies lay across it in a beneficial trade for the Sonics. King Kong for Flap and Kyle. And suddenly, the Sonics come alive. Half of the MPL Arena on their feet. Oh. FCAP, their gold lead sliced in half. Leo, we have seen FNOP do this before. Well, they have an amazing defense against the odds, and then they somehow turn the game in their favor, even with a fully exposed base. One step at a time is what they have to do here. And yes, MPL Arena, the Sonics all stood up after that successful base defense. Looking at the items, we're in juggle territory. Players will start to sell items and buy them in the midst of battle to be able to get advantages and active skills. So you're seeing here now, Kyle DZ, he's rocking a winner crown, so he can start to sell and buy and sell into an immortality. You can see as well an immortality on both of the frontliners of Falcons AP Bread, so that's gonna come into play. Joseph, who's to say that the play FCAP did about three minutes ago isn't gonna happen again? Who's to say? Because they've done it and somehow Marco have, has has made up for all the missed SODs all weekend long. The man's is bulletproof right now, man. That he is known for. That he is what? And he's been doing stuff like that. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. And you know, Kelra made that risk. He he flipped when that play that we were talking about, he flickered forward. He made the play, made the choice. But FCAP responded better to it. So now they find themselves sending Super Marco up top to deal with this while the Lord's gonna be worked on. You gotta say that's risky. Again, knowing the hit rate, the batting average of an SOD in the playoffs, this has to be a play with conviction. Falcons even men have to vocalize and outright say it. We're going for the back door. We're going for the segue. And Marco understands that maybe I'm not ready, man. I'm just <laughs> gonna join the fight. I'm better in team fighting anyways. I'm better at kills for sure in this game. Kai, once again, Flap's done it time and time again where he flickers forward. With the Earth Shatter. Kirk jumping in, gets few really low. He's gonna force them off a little bit from this Lord. They're gonna press the go. Single Flap's gonna jump in again, and King Kong will get the Lord. They're gonna disengage from the spike. AOG! AOG already landed. They're gonna go for it. Brusco goes in with the implosion, but the fire is off. He sacrifices himself, but look at the mid lane. Kyle TZ's gonna be cut off. Flicker in from Kelra. Run, Kyle! They shoot him off with Run. the base. They gotta clear the minions out. And FCAP runs into the base, Lord but right now, left up. They've got it together. Lord spawned. An extra layer of fat to stop the onslaught of FCAP's minion waves. But that was a close call. Joseph, I'm gonna tell you now, I don't think this Lord is worth the effort. F not put into it. Yes, they denied FCAP from taking it. But wait, what's Kirk doing? What's Kirk oh, doing? I guess they want to fight this out. Kirk! Immortality, are we gonna be popping? Kyle! Kyle! Down! And they can't keep him alive as Super Prince falls as well. Kelra and King Kong, the only left alive as that Lord finally goes down. But FNOP ultimately buys them some more time in the game. Fnatic Onik, they're gonna have to defend against three waves and five members of FCAP while being down their silent anchors. Super Friends, 30 seconds. Kark, 30 seconds. I don't think this is possible. We're short of a miracle for this defense to happen. Well, they can see if they can pull it off, Few. Let's not have Flap again, jumping in. They're trying to clear the waves, pushing this in together. King Kong, so low. And now the base is gonna be worked on and FCAP will see the victory as they take game three, two to one right now. Backs against the wall, the final Titan refuses to fall. Three games in, and Fnatic on it to lose their first game all playoffs long. We're going to game four. Going to game four, man, the crowd all in their seats, out of their seats here.